Hi, I'm Lone Candle. BTS, the greatest K-pop band in the world. Their seven delicious members delight our hearts and moisten our vaginas. Each of these men contain more talent in their pinkies than the rest of us mere mortals hold in our entire bodies. Every one of them deserves all their success and a deluge of vagina juice for their peckers to slip and slide through. But I have my preferences and am bound by the dictates of truth, honor, and glory to explain them to you. So here are my BTS rankings. Number seven, Sugar, also known as Min Yoongi. He's the cutest of the bunch, so much so that many can't discern his species. Did Sugar just jump on the table and meow in our ears? Or was that a member of the feline race? I don't know. I can't tell. Did it meow in Korean? Can it rap? Because let me tell you, Suga can freaking rap, creating a hilarious irony that his often hard rapper appearance is combined with feline cuteness. It really makes no sense and should explode in a failed chemical experiment. But somehow, the molecules remain not only stable, but glow in the glory of the rapping, dancing, and singing that is Min fucking Yoongi. Now, why is he number seven? One, it's mostly just about liking others more, not any major knocks on sugar. Two, I don't really like rap, sorry. Three, sometimes, especially live, his singing is noticeably off, more often than it is with the other guys. Number 6, Rap Monster. Let's go! Rap Monster is a truly dumb name, but he has a good story about how he thought it was cool when he was younger, and now he goes by the initials RM. So, it all works out. Let's go! RM is the leader of the pack, and speaks the best English. I certainly couldn't learn a language by watching Friends. Hell, I couldn't learn a language from taking six Spanish classes. His intelligence, leadership, and suave confidence give him bonus points. Let's go! He's an excellent rapper. I can really feel his rhymes. But nevertheless, I don't really like rap, and his performances don't grab my attention as much as other members. So he remains in the bottom half. Let's go! Thank you. Five golden V's. This handsome devil's hilarity propels him above a lower ranking. I love watching him do silly stuff. Despite being a funny guy, he can give off an amazing aura of coolness, like the Fawns from Happy Days, and he's the king of smooth ending fairies. He makes expressions combined with gestures that are somehow cool and funny at the same time. V's unique and lower pitched voice pairs well with the other singers. He's great, but for me, each of the other guys have something that pulls them ahead. When it comes to performing, he's a good at everything but not the best at anything type of guy. And that holds him back in my rankings.
Number four, Jin. One thing, he has the same name as an evil genie. He can't, however, grant you three wishes, unless all three of them are worldwide handsomeness. This aspiring actor turned singer-dancer is renowned for his good looks. Not really my type, but I get it. In certain songs, Jin really works what he got, showing his emotionally powerful voice that successfully dramatizes the music. His dancing and singing put many an aspiring pop star to shame, but compared to some of the dudes he's jigging next to, he's not the top class. Like V, he's heroic! But some of these other dudes are godly. For a long time, I considered Jin number 7, but then I got more glimpses of his personality. He's a silly motherfucker, and funny as shit. He leans into his worldwide handsome status in ways that amuse the crap out of me. I see him like a best friend and secret lover. Hello, I'm worldwide handsome Jin. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jin. I'm worldwide handsome, you know? All right, the top three. Now we're getting into the God tier. And it's no surprise that such divine heights are monopolized by the Triple J sub team. For the bronze, John Mick fucking Gook. John Gook is one of the best singers and one of the best dancers. All around, he's probably the most talented, and he's cute as hell. His weak link is, he's more popular than my two favorites, so I hate him and want to pee bloody urine into his eyeballs. That said, I love, love, love Jungkook with longer purple hair. It gives him a feminine mystique that engorges my body with flowing hard blood. I mean, if a dude can trick my penis into thinking he's a girl without even hormones or cross-dressing, that's one sexy dude. The second best member of the greatest K-pop band in the multiverse is... I'm your hope. You're my hope. I'm J-Hope. I like Sprite. Hi, Maria. I'm J-Hope. And I'm very scared. This guy's stage presence is fucking ridiculous, but not as ridiculous as his dancing. This guy can really kick a jig. The way he moves. Mm. I know RM's the leader, but if you watch these guys training their choreography, Hopi is leading that shit. And he seems like the nicest of guys. He's always showing up for birthdays, always ready to charm his fans with a cute smile or a little hand heart, and his cute little smile is to die for. He knows it too. Those dimples, that kawaii lip smile, his adorable lips out pose, the easy flashing of a finger heart, hand heart, whole body heart, or physical prop heart. The guy just gives and gives to fans, and that's why I want his children. His high energy personality is endearing. He's not just peppy during concerts, but all the time. It's fun to watch. This guy's not only a dancer, I love his voice. Hearing him rap is the easiest way to confirm that an unknown song is a BTS song. That rough bass of his 
just slaps me silly until my erection snaps off against my underwear. I haven't seen anyone say this but me, but J-Hope looks like a Japanese woman. I don't mean that as an insult, just a descriptive fact. His face and expressions remarkably approximate that of some Japanese women. So I like to say that he secretly is a Japanese woman, a very handsome and beautiful Japanese woman, one that I'd love to lay down next to and cuddle with. Konnichiwa. Who is the number one bias of all time? Park goddamn Jimin. I mean, secretly it's J-Hope, but Jimin! Jimin is a modern day prince. His feminine charms truly are too much for many the straight guy. There aren't a whole lot of dudes that I'd fuck, but Jimin is one of them. His strangely pretty handsomeness regularly confuses both my left and right testicles. Like Hopi, this dude can dance. While Hope dances with power and skill, Jimin moves with fluid grace and precision. I imagine J-Hope pounding my butthole without remorse while Jimin puts the seductive tongue moves on my genitals. Jimin truly is beauty incarnate as he flows across the stage like a fairy king. And then he opens his mouth. Ooh, man, angels do exist, and they live deep inside the throat of Park Jimin. Such a light, delicate, sweet, and heavenly high-pitched voice can seduce even the most impotent of peni. His sight, motion, and sound all come together to form this perfect little ball of light and truth. He's like the second coming of Jesus, if Jesus was Korean. All three aspects of his performances contain the power of the strongest of football players, but also the femininity of Aphrodite herself. Very few men can truly observe one of his pieces and still honestly say they are 100% straight. I wear sunglasses to watch him because I need a filter to take in that fire king. I love how he ends some of his verses with a little twirl to the high pitch. I can't even pretend to make that noise. At times, I can't tell the difference between Park Jimin and the cuddliest of puppies. I just want to roll them into a ball and eat them. Good Jimin. Yeah, that's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I also learned the word Kamsamida from Jimin. So Jimin, Kamsamida. BTS has taken the world by storm and deeply penetrated my iron heart. All of them are wonderful, but those are my rankings. Now, 
outside of the top three, my rankings on the rest change from week to week. So, this was all pretty much bullshit. I'm Lone Candle. Like me. Come at me. Love me.